Hello everyone, today we will be converting this pair of Forti gates to HA cluster, eliminating single point of failure. Let's get started. As a preparation, I would recommend you to use Snapshot. Having a previous versions of your lab available is a big plus for various reasons. One of them is to revert back changes if needed. Because we are going to use GUI more, we will start with the assigning more RAM to our appliances. One gig is simply not enough. Also, do not forget to change on close option for all devices which support responding to ACPI signal, so you don't have to deal with corrupted file systems every time you shut down your lab. In this video we are also going to implement out of band management, which will allow administrator to access and configure each HA unit separately via GUI. Therefore, I will be adding additional network card to our Linux machine and plugging it to switch. From switch I will connect both Forti gates to port 7 and make this cabling significantly distinguishable. Switch configuration in this case will not be required, as I will use native VLAN for this purpose. Dashed blue is just about perfect. Now let's do the same for the switch to Forti gate connection. Now we are ready to start this up. And when your virtual PC is booted up, let's assign some IP addresses. In my case, second internet card is marked as wired connection 2 and I have decided to go for 172.16.11.51 plus classic 24-bit subnet mask. Now let's open GUI of FortiGate 1 and we will be accessing it on VLAN 10. Our first step will be at System and then click HA. For this example I will be picking Active Passive HA configuration. For this unit to become primary I will increase priority to 150. Write down group name of your choice and monitored interfaces will be all that are forwarding traffic. Heartbeat interfaces will be on port 4 and 5. And finally, we will reserve interface for management and that is port 7. In the next step, we can jump to FortiGate 2, which is also responding on VLAN 10, with IP address which we previously assigned 172.16.10.2. Steps on FortiGate 2 are almost identical, so let's jump to System, then HA. Now 
With that, FortiGate 2 will join the cluster and synchronization process will begin. IP address 172.16.10.2 will no longer be accessible as primary unit will take over and GUI will respond on IP address configured on primary. At this point I would suggest do not panic and let the cluster synchronize, it is going to take some time. Because I wanted to test stability, I am going to make changes on interfaces right away. On interface VLAN 10 I wanted to have nice dot one gateway. So let's make a change there to dot one. Then let's enable DHCP services. After clicking OK we will be kicked out and new access will be on IP.1. In the next step, let's assign IP address on our reserved management interface. Following up with the addressing scheme which we previously used on the virtual machine. Because this network is out of band and will be used only for management, I will also allow HTTP. And as a matter of preference, you can also use name in alias field, so it will be always obvious that this interface is reserved. Assigning IP address on management interface to FortiGate 2 can be done via CLI directly from primary FortiGate, but I am going to do it via console because it is simpler. Typing in edit following with question mark will give you brief description of the interfaces. So let's edit port 7 and follow the commands which I am entering. IP address will be 172.16.11.2 following with 24 bit subnet mask. Don't forget to set administrative access and save it with the next and then end. And now we can simply test if we have access to both units directly from our old of band management network. As you can see, both units are accessible and that means we have achieved our goal for today. HA cluster is synchronized up and running, management interfaces are reserved and accessible, but we can check one more thing and that is if we are receiving IP address from DHCP server activated on VLAN 10. At this point we can remove static IP address assignment on wired connection 1 which is connected to VLAN 10. Switch it to DHCP and simply restart interface or restart virtual machine. Ok, we have DHCP and that means it is working as expected and with that I can say goodbye and see you in next video.
are here. I am they. We are one. <laughs>